Greetings YouTube, this is Yvette and welcome to our channel where we are always seeking the Lord and blessing and thanking Him for all His goodness. It is my hope that we have get, gotten to the point or getting to the point where we can just put all of our faith and trust in God. We're not moved by situations around us because we trust and we know He has it under control. So this is day number two of my smoothie cleanse and really it's day number three but I uploaded day number one's video yesterday. I thought I did it the day before. I didn't make a video yesterday and I didn't do a smoothie. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just count it as day number one. So technically, this is my second day having a smoothie, but it's day number three, but I'm gonna title this day two. So I didn't do a smoothie yesterday because oh, I didn't feel like making it. And it wasn't that super good the first day, but today I hooked my smoothie up so stevia is the game changer so number one is i was looking at this little this video of this little boy and he was so fat you guys he was doing smoothies to lose weight but and he had all this healthy stuff in it but what made his smoothie taste good was he put a bunch of mangoes in it so i did buy some frozen mangoes and today i put some frozen um dark cherries in that i got and um of course um spinach and kale but the game changer, I added stevia in there. So I put my vitamin C in that has zinc and magnesium. Moringa, which has a lot of nutrients in it. It's like a superfood. You should take Moringa. I did add um, my um, natto, which is the fermented soybean powder. I'm not a fan of soybeans, but once this is gone, I'll probably do something else for my fermentation. But it worked good. It made me have a bowel movement like eight hours later but today I need that to happen sooner so I also added some senna which will make you have a bowel and I added um, dandelion root powder which I'll need to hydrate a lot today because it's gonna make me pee out toxins that stuff is really good for that and then of course I added the stevia my smoothie was the bomb so the point is I want to get to the point where I add less and less stevia because my problem is I have a sweet tooth which is why I usually cannot do the smoothie challenge because I cannot stand um, drinking spinach and kale. I don't like green smoothies, but you know what? Adding fruit to it and something that makes it taste good. So I'm trying to stay away from sugar because I am addicted to sugar. Sugar is a drug. It's a very dangerous drug. So even though I deal with drug dealers and um, people who are addicted to drugs and they start talking about their addiction, I have an addiction too. And they look at me. I'm like, I'm addicted to sugar. That is a drug. It's a drug and it kills. And so I um, am trying to kick that. So stevia is natural. I got it from my natural path. I have other forms of stevia, but this one tastes good. It doesn't have really a bad aftertaste. And actually, I didn't even notice it, to be honest with you. So the goal is that I want to get less and less sugar. I want to be off of sweeteners, uh, period, because it's just not good for me. Um, and I'm concerned about my health. I'm getting older. I'd like to do some things in my life. And that's not going to happen if I keep on gaining weight. But I'm done with this weight thing. Trust me. This is a has-been situation. So today I had something very... That would be stressful happen to me. Because the enemy always wants to bring something in and try and mess you up. You ain't messing this up because you will not control my life um, with food. Because I am so addicted to food. And all of us eat. But I'm talking about I like good food and I'll eat, eat, eat. I eat when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm mad, when I'm glad, when I'm sick, when I'm well. There is no reason in the world that I don't eat. Nothing takes my appetite. People will be saying like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sick. I don't feel good. Honey, I can eat when I'm sick. One time I put some oregano oil. I thought it was um, rosemary oil or peppermint. I think I was trying to get peppermint. And I accidentally put oregano on my toothbrush and I was like oh okay I'll just use it anyway that burnt my tongue and my teeth and my gums my tongue was burnt for two three weeks I didn't have taste buds they had to come back it had desensitized my taste buds did that stop me from eating oh no you would think that would slow me down no I couldn't really taste my food well but it didn't stop me from eating so I'm just telling you there's nothing that stops me so the enemy had me so bound by this whole food gig and sweets done it's over so yesterday I had uh, I did really good on my meal plan I had salad and I made some um, 
homemade chow mein, which I had been eating, and that's delicious. It was just nothing but vegetables and some chicken. Add some chicken in there. So I think I'm going to look to other things for um, rewards, like because I want to be mostly plant-based, I'm not going to be vegan again, but I will occasionally have meat and eat like um, chicken and turkey. Um, lamb, my daughter grills lamb and it's really good. She's, she's gotten good at grilling. And um, I like grilled steak on the barbecue. So those are going to be my treats. So I'm going to sign off and I'm hoping that you guys will join me in this challenge. Um, because we have to get ready for our fast as well. But we need to get our temples in order. So I'm not a good health advocate when I don't look like I'm the picture of health myself. And I've gotten all kinds of information that God has given me about natural healing. And i got to start walking it. So while I can tell you about things, I'm chubby. Why don't I do something about my chubbiness? I will do it now. And I'll keep you guys posted. I didn't weigh myself, so I want to make sure I weigh myself today. Um, but I'm going to sign off. And so, you know, comment down below if you want to be a part of this. Let me know that, hey, I'm going to do it too. And because um, we can certainly talk about some recipes and y'all help me out because um, but I think I got it uh, stevia is my game changer so if you have a hard time with just doing fruits and looking at a green smoothie honey throw some stevia in there if you're just a person with a sweet tooth because it's natural it doesn't kick up your um, doesn't uh, your uh, glycemic index um, and it's just fine and you'll eventually get to the point where you can go less and less and less like I cut myself off of uh, coffee. I used to have to drink coffee every single day. And if I didn't have it, I had a headache. That's nothing but the trick of the enemy, making you a slave to caffeine. I don't want anything taken over my body that belongs to God, that has a hold over me. Because we have, we are free. We're not in bondage. We're not enslaved at all. We are free. Jesus set us free. Okay? So be blessed. And listen, trust in God. He is everything. He has everything for us. There's no, don't be worrying and, and sweating stuff. I did get into it with my sister today because I found out that my real mother is um, dying and that she wants to see me. Well, my, I said, well, when did you find this out? My sister says she knew that my mom wanted to see me. This has been months ago, a month ago, over a month ago. And she didn't tell me. Why didn't you tell me that? And those, for some of you don't know that my biological mother um, has dementia. And so I was a trigger for her. She see me and she want to kill me, didn't want me nowhere around, screaming and just, you know, just acting crazy. So I couldn't come around. It was just too not safe for me. Now I find out she wants to see me and they were acting like she hated my guts. And she would, you know, my mom, you know, but that wasn't the case. And I'm like, what, to my sister, why didn't you tell me this? Oh, because I didn't, I didn't want to say nothing because they didn't want you to come around. Talking about my youngest sister who's very, very evil and on power trips. Which is really sad that you use the death of your mom to try and even be mean to people. But you know what? Am I worried about this? It's in God's hands. It's in God's hands. That's where it is. It's in his hands. So, and that's where I'm going to leave it. So, be in peace because that's what God wants for us. And be about our Father's business. I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys on day number three and let you know how I'm doing. All right. Bye-bye.